Hi, my name is Ido Romano and I'm a multicultural composer. This is my first video blog and hopefully it will be the first of many. I'd like to share with you the story behind the piece you're about to hear. The name of the piece is Cobism for nine players. I wrote it in 2017 during my first year of my master's in the Jerusalem Academy of Music and Dance. The name of the piece is derived from a blend of words Cobiz, which is a fiddle instrument from Kazakhstan, and Cubism, which, as you might know, is an art movement. Fifteen years ago, I got a CD called The Rough Guide to the Music of Central Asia, Uzbekistan to Kazakhstan, Sounds of the Silk Road. It had a musical tract called Aku by Raus Han Orazbaeva from Kazakhstan. This was the first time I was exposed to the Kobiz, but at the time I wasn't curious enough to be aware of what instrument it was, the ways the sounds are produced or the way it looks. However, when I started writing the piece, I returned by chance to the CD and the specific Aku piece and I took the opportunity to dive a little bit deeper and looked it up on YouTube. This time round, I was inspired by the expressive technique of playing this instrument and I thought of converting these techniques and motifs into my piece. When I decided to do so, I used the cello as the main instrument for this unique technique and used the ensemble to orchestrate and amplify the core motivic ideas which came from the Kobiz originally. Other sources of inspiration for my piece came from various colorful folk traditions around the globe, including the Turkish Kaval, Balkan rhythms, tribal, indigenous and shamanic motifs. I myself found it interesting to see how the piece evolved through the process of eclectic use of the materials put together. The process was somewhat similar to electronic music where you put layers of sounds on top of each other and use samples and loops in a repetitive way. I was experimenting with cross-fading, cutting, pasting, shifting and morphing all those materials within the metric grid as a framework. The work process started to resemble the process used in cubist artwork, a process in which objects are analyzed, broken up and reassembled in an abstracted form. This results in a depiction of the subject from a multitude of viewpoints and by that represents the subject in a greater context. During the process I wondered what would be the consequences or the outcomes of recombining and imposing these ideas under the hat of chamber music setting, taking into account the limitations and different practicalities associated with the modern classical musical instruments. I was passionate about the different contrast within this piece, folk and classical traditions put together, an electronic music mindset played by live acoustic musicians. The piece you are about to hear was recorded by the well-established Israel Contemporary Players Chamber Ensemble. It was chosen anonymously by Ilan Volkov, the conductor and artistic director of this ensemble. I am very grateful to all who were involved in this project and made it possible during these challenging COVID times. I hope you enjoy what you are about to hear and see you in my next videos. Thank you.
Thank you.